everybody welcome back to the channel this is Lumi of Little and Lumi today I've got a speed build in The Sims 4 I actually built a yurt <laughs> so I just wanted to share that with you guys it's actually my first speed build um, so please be kind um, I tried uh, so basically uh, I was inspired by the um, Yurt I saw on Living Big in a Tiny House. They did a, a video about a couple who live in a yurt and I thought, well that's a cool idea. I wonder if I could build one in The Sims. So I thought I'd just give it a shot. Um, you can see here in the beginning of the video that I struggled a lot with the roofing. Um, the Sims 4 is not yurt friendly, I found out or maybe I'm just not a very skilled builder that's probably what the problem is um, but I did struggle a lot trying to put the roof on the yurt in the beginning here and um, ended up having to you'll see in a moment scrap the entire thing and start all over again so <laughs> I hope you guys uh, enjoy this um, I had fun building it it's um, it was a challenge, sort of, yeah, for me, because I um, don't usually share my builds. Um, I have a few that I have shared, um, but I don't usually record speed builds. Like, this is literally my first speed build. And you'll see that I constantly am checking to make sure that um, <laughs> when I upload this yurt to the gallery, that it will be, um, that the the auto screenshot uh, thing that The Sims does will actually show or showcase the yurt. Um, <clears throat> there were all <laughs> there were all sorts of challenges with this. Uh, the roof was a problem. Um, I found um, windows were a problem. You'll see in a little bit. I'll be uh, <laughs> going through windows like a mad woman but um, to tell you about the design inside uh, the actual video for this um, the actual building that this is designed off of or that I got inspiration from actually has a loft in it um, the loft in the yurt is on top of what will be the bathroom area in this um, and it actually in the the actual home too it is a loft uh, however I didn't know how to fit in stairs I wasn't going to try I probably could have um, but I just put a Murphy bed from tiny living in and um, you're more than welcome to take that out and put in a real bed or try to build stairs and build the second floor um, I tried to make this as off the grid as possible because I feel like a yurt is something that you're not going to see in your suburban normal everyday suburban area so this was built in Sulani um, and I did have a refrigerator and a microwave in it at first which I replaced with the cooler um, however <clears throat> if you download this from the gallery you will see that I put the refrigerator and the microwave back simply because the um, the cooler having the stove you can't cook if you don't have a refrigerator and the cooler only allows you to have quick foods and my sim when I play tested was not having that at all she wanted to cook um, so I did replace the cooler I actually left it on the lot um, so <laughs> you can still use it and replace the fridge the fridge and microwave with the cooler if you want to but um, yeah so that was a <laughs> that was an issue um, uh, the stove is actually a weird thing I don't know why stoves are considered off the grid I guess because you can gas cook um, cook with gas but the, the stove that you can use actually has electric burners on it I don't know if anybody's ever noticed that uh, it, so this whole thing was kind of weird and probably more ambitious a project than I should have taken on uh, but I did try um, I wanted to put in a fireplace 
uh, you'll see me looking for a fireplace, but we don't have uh, that like old timey like wood stove fireplace in The Sims 4 like we did in The Sims 3, and I think there was one also in The Sims 2. Um, so uh, the fireplace went away, uh, but I did add a little entryway here. That's in the in the actual video that's where the living area is is the door opens and that's where their seating area is and then they have some other stuff off to the side but um, I think this layout works for uh, sim so hopefully it'll work for you guys <laughs> um, I tried to put in everything that I, I would think that a sim would need it's got a bathroom it's got the off the grid toilet and the sink and the um, tub I put in this chess table because if you're living off the grid you're not gonna have a TV or a radio so you are probably gonna want to have something to do there's actually two bookcases um, I didn't think about this um, as I was building but the Murphy bed has a built-in bookcase and then um, because of the changes they made to the game for tiny living uh, now the little uh, clutter books that you would put on your uh, shelves to make the you know just to decorate are now usable as bookcases so there is one of those as well um, and here I go with the windows <laughs> I go through so many windows in this build and I actually like these first ones I just didn't think they were big enough uh, but they kinda had the same look uh, of the windows for a yurt because they're the windows are actually just um, plastic I guess or you know that thick plastic stuff with um, with the cross hatch in them and I really want <laughs> I really wanted it to look like a yurt I don't think the windows I finally ended up with oh I hate those island living windows are really <laughs> really hated those but I don't think the windows I finally went with um, fit the build at all uh, but that's mostly because I just couldn't find anything else that would that would make it that looked like actual the actual windows in the yurt um, also the other thing uh, you'll notice is that <laughs> this uh, is highly decorated um, there's a lot of paintings on the walls which I don't know that you can necessarily do in a an actual yurt <laughs> I don't think you can hang paintings and and curtains and and things like that but you'll see uh, it is highly decorated because Sims like nicely decorated things they like to be surrounded by nice things especially if they're materialistic so um, I did try to decorate it and make it look as attractive as possible um, so please forgive me if it's not true to life um, I've never actually lived in a yurt I probably could um, live in a yurt in the current situation <laughs> that we have going on here um, in in the world but um, I feel like that would probably be the safest thing to be would be to be off the grid and away from everybody but um, yeah <laughs> I hope that you guys are um, staying safe and um, you know washing your hands and keeping safe social distances actually <laughs> I actually uh, read that it was three feet now it's six feet I'm so confused I don't know what to do but anyway back to the build uh, so you'll see me here struggling again with the roof because there is no um, way to make the roof look like um, cloth and even the walls to me don't really look like they are um, canvas rather um, so I ended up going with this black um, concrete uh, just to make it stand out and pop a little bit and you'll see me turn on the uh, mo the move objects uh, cheat and uh, the debug so that I can get access to the debug items for landscaping um, because as you know 
if you build in The Sims. The debug items are free and they um, don't make the lot uh, cost anymore. Uh, the lot is a little bit expensive. I think it's at 27000 so it's not a starter. You're, you couldn't um, have a, a starter sim here unless you possibly did the sim story um, in the beginning where it gives your sim a job and more starting funds than the basic uh, 20k. Um, but I did try to make uh, the home as livable as possible. It does have a laundry, it does have a laundry tub and um, I put a back door and some stairs. Uh, the only thing I, I don't think I really did that I usually uh, do in my home builds. You'll see me here trying to put clutter in the kitchen and I just wasn't feeling it. So. <laughs> <laughs> the shelves in the kitchen are empty. Feel free to clutter them to your heart's content. Um, but I did put the wash tub in there with the laundry shelf from the laundry stuff pack, um, which I think is cool. You feel free to take that out. You can put a desk in there if you want, um, or your Sims can like sit and do cool stuff. Uh, <laughs> but, um, I, I had a lot of fun building this. Um, I apologize for the video quality because I'm not I'm not I'm not ever recorded anything I built before, so I don't use keyboard shortcuts and I'm, I'm sort of all over the place with this. Um, and I probably could have planned it a little better, uh, but I did have fun, so I will probably be doing more speed builds for the channel. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, and now I'm just trying to, <laughs> again, put as much clutter in as I can because I like to do that. Um, and I'm going crazy just scrolling through trying to find something that will look good on these shelves. But I, I think I gave up at this point and now I'm just putting uh, paintings everywhere and trying to finish uh, finish up the <laughs> with rugs and make sure everything looks really cool. Um, I think it turned out okay. Um, uh, like I said, I did play test it, so my my sim did enjoy it. She did not like the cooler though. She wanted to cook, so I again did replace that if you download it from the gallery. Um, and I think that's <laughs> that's really about it, guys. I really hope you uh, enjoy the video. Um, Oh, I did add some um, some really cool landscaping out here, and then you'll see me add, um, oh, this is the part where I added stairs. Yeah, I added stairs, but first you have to oh, see where I, I messed that up. Terrain paint is the bane of my existence, people. But, um, so yeah, so I did raise it in, on... <laughs> Did put it on a little foundation uh, went with um, end up going with a stone foundation and I did put some little stairs in the back it's probably a little bit far so the stairs in the back look a little bit weird uh, but I think I still think it turned out okay um, just putting in some plants and uh, trying to make everything look pretty on the outside because landscaping uh, can really make or break uh, a house um, and I think um, so this yeah this is where I add some garden plants so you or garden pots so you can put do some gardening for your um, for your sims they can um, grow their own vegetables or whatever you feel like uh, growing apple trees <laughs> Um, and then I feel like at this point I must have taken a break or something because I just <laughs> stopped building. But uh, like I said, this house is on the gallery, so feel free to download it. My origin ID is Lumi Plays Games. Um, that's L U M I I Plays Games. Um, 
feel free to download that. I do have a few other houses up there that I did not do speed builds on. Uh, I kind of regret that because um, this was really fun and I really think I'm going to do another one. There I go checking <laughs> checking how it looks again um, and just adding in some final landscaping here uh, trying to uh, make it have a little bit more curb appeal. Um, at the stark whiteness of it uh, kind of kind of throws it off and uh, in real life it probably is supposed to be in a barren place where there's not this much landscaping around but this is the sims and you can do anything you want in the sims or just about anything you want in the sims so um, we got a campfire with a little a couple of chairs I put a bicycle because We'd like to think that these are eco-friendly sims, so they're not, they're not going to have a big old, you know, <clears throat> carbon dioxide spewing uh, pickup truck in the front and uh, just doing some final checks of everything. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it for you. And um, please, 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 uh, if you like the video, please like, uh, subscribe to the channel. That really helps us out. And I hope you guys have a great day wherever you are. Please stay safe, take care of yourselves, and I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, that landscaping actually looks good. Okay, look, <laughs> I'm critiquing my own building skills. Okay, so thank you again, guys. Please like and subscribe uh if you haven't already and tell your friends about us we really appreciate you guys if you have a comment please leave a comment down below and this time i really will see you in the next video i hope you guys have an awesome 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 day thank you so much bye guys <laughs>